Well, hello, everybody. I really wanted to open with a Mr. Rogers theme of me coming in and hanging up my coat. <laughs> Too much of a pain in the ass to set it up. But did a little rearranging here in a matter of seconds. I put one screw in to hold this up in the air because I was sick of keep hitting the blades. You know, I didn't want to break this thing. It cost me like $10 at a garage sale. Come on, you know. So I moved all the insulation towards that door to keep the cold that way. I might just lift a couple sheets up, you know, a little bit higher to help block any other cold for now. Like, maybe like that or something, I don't know. Just to keep the, the chili out of my witty. Cause you don't want a chili witty. No fun. Um, all right. So, obviously out in the garage today, drinking my super generic $1.25 Stewart's citrus flavored red stuff. Red stuff that's actually yellow. Um, I'm warming up my tiles. I got the heat blown on my chair. Get my tiles warmed up. This is, this is how I do it. Because I kind of want to finish most of this, if not all of this, um, today. I like to get this finished today, and then I can figure out what moldings I need. Um, the molding is going to be a real son of a bitch to bend around this corner. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, because I tried bending it before, and all it does is break. So you kind of make it look like a molding. I mean, I can make my own molding out of a piece of, of that, but it would just be another stack on top of this and it would just look stupid. I want something to cover this. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to end up getting some more of this. And let's see. I got the stuff coming in this Sunday from Amazon. And so I'm going to caulk around that bottom edges and it'll kind of help blend everything in down there. And this white will be disappearing to like a brown, <clears throat> like a brown color. But anyways, let's get away from the noise. I'll come out here in the echo chamber. Um, my YouTube channel lately has taken off pretty good. And I have nobody to thank but you guys that watch my videos. Either how goofy or not they are. You still come and check out what I'm doing. And that's cool, and I appreciate it. And, you know, it gives me a little more income to help me continue on doing stuff that I like to do. You know, being on a, you know, set monthly thing, I mean, you got to learn how to budget and stuff. But So that's why, like, when I get a big chunk of money, I reinvest it, like what's sitting right there. Because it's kind of like an investment, you know. You buy something, you lock your money away in something you can use, and I could make money with mowing lawns with that. So besides the fact it's an investment, and I'm taking really good care of it, and it's going to make me money, and then when I sell it, I should be able to break pretty close to even when I'm done with it, considering the money I make from mowing with it. Um, I should keep a running tab on that. So that's what I do, and you know what I do. I mean, eventually, I'll sell these ramps. Because to me, they're dangerous, they're finger pinchers, because they're trifolds. And I don't need any of my fingers cut off just yet. I still have to pick my nose, so I need all my fingers. But yeah, so these will go in the summer. So these will stay here probably most all winter. I mean, who the hell buys a lawnmower before winter? Nobody does. So this is sitting idle back here, way out of the way, until I need it again. But. The reason why I started this video today isn't just because what I'm going to do in the bathroom. That's boring shit. But I want to bring you some of the numbers. Some of the numbers you guys are helping me push through the freaking roof. Which is totally amazing. And I thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I mean, I kind of think I'm a little boring. I try to throw a little weird shit in there every now and then to keep it somewhat interesting. 
And hopefully some of my videos are informative that can really actually help somebody that's doing something. And um, so, you know, and then when I, I die, my videos will live on, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. How long does YouTube keep your channel going after you croak? Do they just say, okay, he hasn't uploaded in a year, shut his channel off? I have no idea. But anyways, who knows? Down the road, I might pass my channel off to somebody else when I get up to 400 years old and uh, let them take it. But I don't know. I don't really don't know how it works. But in a way, down the road, if somebody ever wanted to say, hey, remember that guy, Andy? What the hell did he used to do? Oh, look, here's his videos, blah, 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 you know. He was kind of funny, he's kind of goofy, he says the wrong shit all the time, but we know how he is, we just let it go. But, I took some screenshots of the numbers, and <clears throat> for a while there, my channel was dropping. It, it was, oh, it was just going, I'll put up the screen month by month, you'll see, my, I was down like $87, I made one month, I'm like, what? And now it's about doubled. And that's because of you guys watching my videos. And I really appreciate it. And I try to keep them short, like I said. I don't want to drag them out like I'm dragging this out right now. But, I mean, I try to keep the commercials out. I can make more money putting commercials in the middle of my videos. But, like I said before, it's bullshit. I, I come to watch a video. I don't come to watch commercials, for Christ's sakes. You get stuck with one commercial in the beginning of the video nothing all the way to the end it's a clear shot to the end and at the end of the video there's another commercial where you can say like i ain't watching that one bye and that's it you know once you see me pulling my wheelie the video's over so which reminds me i have to go out and hook up my zero turn to the battery maintainer can't forget that so i'm gonna go in the bathroom and start doing some of the tile stuff once it gets warmed up a little bit more out here. And uh, a little nippy today. Furnace ran great last night. It was, it was honestly cleaner than I expected. I really didn't expect the bathroom, I mean, yeah, the bathroom, the furnace to be that clean inside. You know, when I pulled it out and showed it to the nozzle, um, usually that whole round circle back plate is black sooty shit mess. And I couldn't believe it wasn't, so I can't believe it's not butter. So, hi Ron, how you doing Ron? I should have something coming off the end of this, I don't know. <laughs> we don't want to make it too disgusting. We don't want to piss anybody off, so we won't do that. That's just funny enough as it is. So... If you guys don't know, Ron and I have a running joke, and we're always breaking balls on the phone. We call each other and say hello, and I'm always trying to get him subscribers for his channel. If he ever stops helping everybody, for Christ's sakes, he helps the whole freaking neighborhood. And he doesn't have time to do his own videos, Ron. Let's go, buddy. Tell your neighbors to keep their pants on and tell you, say, hey, I got my own shit to do. Well, it's nice to help your neighbors, especially if you got good neighbors. I don't mind it around here. You know, I do anything for my neighbors, so... Yeah, we got a, we're good. Ever since Ding Dong left next door, uh, the neighborhood really has brightened up. I'm actually happy to live here again. So it's amazing the amount of stress and anxiety and stuff is on people when you got to worry about crap like that. You know what I mean? You shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to worry about stuff like that. Life is too short to be worrying about what somebody else next door is doing. You shouldn't have to go through that in your life. You know, and I told my wife, you know, I'm living my life for myself. If somebody wants to be a part of it, fine. If they don't, then fine. But I'm not going to stop my life for anybody else, and you shouldn't either. You know, if nobody agrees with what you do, that's, that's their choice. That's fine. But I'm living my life for me. I got one go-around on this merry-go-round, and that's it. So enjoy yourself while you're here. Don't let nobody bother you. If somebody says you're fat, ugly, goofy, it's just words. Don't let it bother you. And just continue on with your life. You know? And that's the word of the wise from the goofiest guy on the planet Earth. All right. So here are some of the numbers I'm going to show you. And um, it gives you kind of like a projected, you'll see in one of them, like a projected uh, 
um, like where your channel's heading to possibly in December. Now, I think it's at $146. That's really not it. Right now, it's at $9, and you'll see that. Um, so the numbers are kind of like guesstimations. They're not really written in gold. The only time it's written in gold is is when you get the deposit in your account and you say, oh, look, I got 100 bucks." So, you know, they can put any numbers they want up there. The only numbers that count is when you get deposited. Why does this look so freaking crooked? Everything looks crooked. I must have been drunk. I don't even drink. I don't know. This looks fatter up here than it does down there. The door looks like it's going that way. Holy shit. I got to stop looking at stuff. Anyways, here's some of the numbers. And I'm going to get tinkering in the bathroom. And uh, I'm just going to roll this video up right now. So I don't drag this out for half an hour talking about my dog and how I shave my ass. No, I don't shave my ass. My wife shaves my ass. I don't do it. <laughs> Thank God she's in the house. I'd be walking funny right now. <laughs> All right. So here we go, and I'll catch you later, and I'll drag the I'll drag out the pictures like five seconds or so, so you get a good look at it. Cause I can make the videos, the the still pictures from one second to ten seconds. So I don't generally drag them out long, unless there's a lot of writing and shit to look at. Then I'll drag it out to like ten seconds. But if it's something basic that is like there it is, see you later, you know. All right, here we go. I'll catch you later. Happy Sunday. I might be back. I don't know. Well, I told you I might be back. I got my level because it was driving me that crazy. So I put it on this door, bathroom door, and I got a perfect bubble. This door is exactly perfect. Doesn't look like it though, does it? Doesn't look like it's crooked. Here's where the problem is, oh boy. On this door, I don't know what the hell happened here. Holy shit. We're off like two inches. Inch and a half or two inches. No wonder why the goddamn thing closes funny. Oh, it's not the door, it's actually the wall. Alright, so I guess if I unloose the something down here and then kick this bottom in, at least an inch and a half, that door will straighten out. But then it'll throw this off. I thought something was off. Something wasn't looking right. What about this wall? Oh, Christ. Of course, this wall is off, too, to match the door. Look at that. What the hell ruler was I using? I must have been using the Chinese ruler or something. Well, so my door is off. But it's closed as perfect. Figure that out. So I made... I made everything crooked to fit crooked. Holy shit, don't tell anybody. All right, see you later.